Alright guys, I just wanted to upload a video real fast on um, a PC build video um, for a gaming rig that I'm going to be posting here pretty soon. And uh, this is for people who have had uh, the same Dell PCs and have had the same issue. Um, just showing you um, one way I was able to solve it. And uh, let me show you real fast. Alright, so the good news is I got the Windows 7 started. Um, for the install and the way I was able to get to that um, was to take out the old disk drive it wasn't opening up at all um, with this old motherboard you can't really do a USB um, install um, unless it's updated or a modded version of the BIOS um, so this was kind of like the only way I couldn't even install a uh, hard drive that had windows or a install of windows on it um, it wouldn't work so I put in this drive right here which is actually older than that drive over there um, but I put in a uh, Windows 7 install disk that I have over here on my workbench so that's what's in there and we got the install going um, I'm gonna put up a few images um, that I'll link in the comments eventually here um, of, of the screen that I'm talking about. And it's the um, no, no boot disk or boot available, um, retry, hit enter. Um, there's some other things in the BIOS that it everyone else online was saying to do, but it just wasn't really working. Um, like uh, changing the the, the floppy option and turning that off and other things like that. So, yeah, um, here's a solution that might work. I don't know if it works for everybody, but it works for me. So I'm going to get back to working on this uh, cheap $1. That's all it cost me to get this $1. And besides changing that, I had that part. That was from just a, um, a random thrift shop PC that I had before um, that just was completely toast with the motherboard. So yeah, I'm glad it all worked out and you guys have a wonderful day. Hope this worked out. See ya.